What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex Costa and fall, my favorite season of the year is here. So today's video is all about styling boots for the colder season. Now I put together 10 outfits for you guys, outfits that honestly any of you can pull off. I'm not trying to go crazy with these fits. I wanted to make it easy to style and comfortable to wear and I think I was able to achieve that with today's looks. So without further ado, let's get started with the first look. And I had to start with Chelsea boots because you know how much I love Love a good Chelsea boot. These are tan suede Chelsea boots from Saint Laurent. There are a lot of different brands who make very similar boots. By the way, I style them with a simple gray sweater, not baggy, but not too tight either. It just fits me really well. Then some light wash denim with a similar fit, not skinny, but not baggy. These are tailored, as you can tell. I rolled them up just once. I think that's actually a pretty cool minor detail and it shows off more of the boots when you do that. I don't recommend you do that all the time as you're gonna see here with the next looks, but once in a while, it does work. Sticking with the Chelsea boot theme, the next look is a black and white look, which is the easiest combination that you can get. Like I said, any guy can pull this off. The leather Chelsea boots I'm wearing are from Gucci. I got them on sale a year ago and I love them. I'm wearing tailored black jeans with no designs, no rips, no distressing, just jet black. Also, did not cuff them here just because I like the cohesive look in all black, so there's no break between the denim and the boots, but it's all about personal preference. You can see that it does look pretty good even if I went ahead and rolled them up a bit though. I threw in a white tee and this leather jacket from All Saints that I've had for a very long time. I love this thing and I love this look. I think it's a great look. Let's move on to look number three and combat or military boots. I love these boots, man. These are from my collection with Nordstrom and as you guys know, they sold out pretty quickly but you can find similar styles on ASOS for example and I'm gonna link some of them below. Now, I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but I pretty much always lace them up like this. I go around the boot to add a cool detail here. Then I go ahead and tie up the laces in the front. I swapped the leather jacket for this flannel, still maintaining that black and white look, which is easy to wear. With military boots, you can definitely roll up the pants a bit because it gives you that more of a rugged look that is in sync with the military boots, right? And that's usually what I do. In my opinion, it does look better than having the pants covering most of the boots. For look number four, we're gonna go with these insane boots from Alexander McQueen. These are kind of like a mix between chunky sneakers and boots. And I really fell in love with this design recently and I wear these whenever I can. Now, they're tough to wear just because, believe it or not, white boots aren't very practical. Who would have thought? But if I know I'm not gonna get them dirty, if I know where I'm going, then I'll wear them out. Again, keeping it really easy for you guys to match with this outfit because it is black and white. Anyone can pull this off. This is a more street style look, yes, which I'm really vibing with right now, but I know that you guys can pull this off. I am rocking the cargo pants from Represent, white tee from Atos Apparel, my own clothing brand, as you guys know, and a windbreaker from Prada. I splurged, I got this windbreaker a few months ago, and I'm so glad that I did because I wear it all the time. And this type of outfit is perfect for you if you're just getting into street style. You don't wanna go too crazy, but you wanna add a little bit of edge to your look. This is exactly the look that you should go for. Next up, it's time to go back to the tan Chelsea boots and the light wash denim, but this time, we're gonna swap that gray sweater for a white tee from Atos and a suede jacket from Reese. I love this look. It's one of my go-tos to grab a drink somewhere just because it's easy to wear. It's stylish, but I'm not trying too hard if you know what I mean. It looks effortlessly stylish, which is the look that I usually strive for. For look number six, we're gonna add some edge to the look, all right? I'm super stoked with how this turned out. These are some big ass boots from ASOS. I'm rocking the black denim, then a simple gray hoodie with this denim jacket from Diesel. Now, this look is not only very comfortable, but it's stylish, it has a lot of cool details. Between the chunky boots, the distressed denim jacket, and the gray hood layered over the denim jacket, I think this is one of my favorite looks. Now, doing a complete 180 here, if you wanna look extra stylish, modern, elegant, grown up, then let's go back to the black leather Chelsea boots black denim and throw on a black turtleneck. Then we're gonna layer a long coat and if you remember this look, 
One of my first ever lookbooks on this channel featured a very similar look. It's still the same jacket. I got this from Zara probably like four or five years ago. And I wanna get a new one, but I love this so much. It's hard to justify getting a new one because this one is great. So maybe what I'll do is I'm gonna sell it on my Poshmark shop if you guys really want it. It's certainly special to me just because I've worn it so many times. But if you want this, let me know in the comments and I will part ways with this legendary jacket. I'm gonna leave my Poshmark shop link below. I love this style. It's so clean, it's grown up, and it's smart. This next look, man, this is such a cool look. I love this. I'm wearing dark brown boots from Ankari Flores. Dark denim, the same white ATOS tee. As you see, there's a pattern here. It's very easy to style this ATOS tee, guys. And a bomber jacket from Diesel. Now, the reason why I like this look is because you kind of end up looking like a stylish pilot, right? You look like you're in the movie Top Gun, and I think it's a great look. The skinny jeans, the boots with the laces around the back, the detailing in the jacket, I mean, it all comes together to create a very stylish pilot look. For look number nine, this next look, I just wanted to change it up a lot. This is a look that, in a weird way, it's, it's just modern, and I say weird because it's like vintage is in right now, right? So even though it looks like something that you would wear in the 70s or 80s, it's actually what's trending right now. I have these very chunky boots from ASOS on. These are crazy chunky, but I, I love them. I have these baggier pants, right? They're not tailored for sure. They're definitely not skinny. They're baggier pants from Uniqlo, the ATOS T, and a flannel from Reese. And lately, this has been one of my go-to looks. And because I'm moving to New York City for the rest of the year, which I haven't told you guys yet, but I am doing that. I'm gonna be wearing this a lot. Next up for look number 10, I'm gonna go back to black and white with the Alexander McQueens, the represent cargos, but I'm switching up the top for a white sweater from Banana Republic. Then I'm adding a black fisherman beanie. I've been super into these lately and I'm excited to go to New York City so I can wear them more often to add another cool detail to this fit, right? I think it's a dope outfit. It's great for this season. And like I said, black and white fits. The reason why I have so many of them here is because they're so easy to style and I know for a fact that you guys would look amazing in any of these outfits. Did you enjoy this type of video? Let me know in the comment section down below which outfit was your favorite. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram at Alex Costa. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Peace.